guys, Chase Daniel here, Chase Daniel Show, sponsored by Launch Hydrate. Appreciate you guys. And today we are digging into Will Levis. Should he have been a top three pick? Because he played about the most insane rookie game I've ever seen. It was a premiere. Look at these stats. He became just the third player in NFL history to throw four touchdowns in his NFL debut. He had a passer rating of 130.5. It's the second highest passer rating ever, minimum of 25 pass attempts, by a QB in his NFL debut. And he had more touchdown passes on Sunday, four, than the Titans had all season long coming into the game three. I don't think he's going to see the bench again. Have the Titans found their franchise guy? Let's dig into the film and figure it out. All right, let's get right into it. Will Levis, got to love the start that this rookie quarterback had. Four total touchdowns. And just got to give love to not only these uniforms, these throwback uniforms, the old school Oiler uniforms, which I grew up in that era, but like Derrick Henry's looking awesome, DeAndre Hopkins looking awesome, but most importantly, this guy right here, Will Levis, and also just the offensive coordinator and the game plan that they had against these Falcons was, hey, we're not going to try and hide this guy. We're going to take advantage of what he does best. And you're going to see on this film, what he does best is he chucks the ball down the field. I love all this under center play action. What do you know? This is play eight of the game. And we're going to start from here. Big time play action fake to Derrick Henry. Okay. You got a dagger route up top, a through route right here. And he ends up diming this on this through route, which honestly, this is I'm going to show it right here. This is just an alert, okay? It's just a through, which means an alert. You want to throw this first man-to-man. -man. It's not man-to-man -man coverage, okay? You have a dagger right here, but DeAndre Hopkins, he's, he's number one. You have this tight end, seal this edge, and then come back out to the flat. He's number two, okay? Derrick Henry is over here just for trouble. So you're going to go play action right, drop back, seven steps, which I like about him. Really good footwork so far, what I've seen, all right? So this dagger is number one, and this flat is number two. You're going to see right here, Will Levis, he's going to go back, all right? And once I play this, he's going to look here at one. He's going to go to two. He's going to find the check down and then go back here to three. Not what you want to do, but he ends up diming this ball. Okay, look, he's checking the through route, not open. Pumps it for whatever reason. Looks back to Andrew Hopkins and goes back to the through route. Okay, we're going to see it from this back view, but... If I'm, if I'm the coach and I'm being critical on their young rook, I'm saying, hey, just check it down right here. All right, go ahead and run. Get these extra yards. It's fine. But then you see this throw and the fact that he almost gets his throw in there. And then you're saying, all right, well, never mind. Nice throw. See this back view, a little motion over. And you're going to see Will Levis right here, his footwork, okay? I'm going to slow-mo it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, this little pump fake right there to someone. I'm not sure who it was. And then throws just with a guy right in his face. All right, look at this guy. This guy's just saying, hey, throw me the football. Okay, that, that, that might go for 15. He's going to learn to do that. He's looking at DeAndre Hopkins. DeAndre Hopkins fell down. Okay, don't ever like to go back here. But, man, like this throw is it's just what's to come right here. Because, honestly, this free safety barely gets an arm in there. If not, that's a huge completion. And look at this sideline going crazy. They're like, all right, it's that type of day. We're just going to chuck the ball. Let's go do it. All right, this is play 14. Little slot formation, motion over to a pro formation, and you're going to see this all day long. They said, hey, we're going to make De uh, De Derrick Henry, who's not even in the game, run the ball on us. Okay, we're not going to let this little, uh, this rookie beat us deep. But uh, Will Levis had different plans because I want you to watch this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Big time pump fake. Not sure who he's pump faking. You think he's trying to pump fake the corner, but – Look at this, just DeAndre Hopkins, not going to run through everyone, but he's one of the best deep ball catchers in the entire league because he fights for the ball. All right, and all they're running right here is, I mean, you got to show some faith in this guy to do this because it's a field, okay, you're on the right hash. It's a field, stutter and go, and I want you to watch DeAndre Hopkins right here. He doesn't even stutter. He says, you know what, I'm just going to go and up and run, and Will Levis said, hey, I'm supposed to pump you. Okay, watch this corner. <clears throat> I'm supposed to pump this corner right here. He pumps right there. He's starting to pump. Corner has his back to him. Don't need all this action. Just let it fly. And look at listen. Look at this ball. One, two, three, four. In the ball for in the air for five seconds. Okay, look. And this is what DeAndre Hopkins may live enough. When it's even, the dude is the best contested ball catcher in the entire National Football League. And this is the first of three on the day. And DeAndre Hopkins says, Ooh, you wrote me off, just like everyone else, just like Gino. But I like it. All right, 
nice little play fake. And once you watch this pump, too much pump fake for my liking. Okay, he's not pump faking the safety. He's not even worried about the safety. He said, hey, I'm just gonna throw from four yards outside of the hash across the field, 55 yards in the air, and just let my guy go up and get it. Just giving his guy a chance. And you can see here, the ball is off of the film comes back into play and no, that's not offensive pass interference. I do not think so at all. Okay. Love that play. Play number three right here. We got 10. Okay. Alert, alert, alert. They put a lot on this guy's plate, not just to throw the ball, but these run checks, these pass game checks. And you're going to see right here motion. Oh wait, we got a motion. Okay. There's so much going through this guy's head. He handled it perfectly. You got to have the motion snap point, make sure they don't run into each other, all this stuff. <laughs> I thought they really just ran the offense. They didn't really peel it back at all for him. And he showed that he can handle it. And just what a just what a play for 15 yards, all right? You're just going to have a high corner right there. He's eye candy, and you have a slide route, and you have an over route. You're just reading it top down, okay? So you're reading corner to over to flat. And if this flat pops right now, which he, uh, he builds in leverage off this nickel right here, you can do it. Love this play call. Easy 15 yards. And we'll see this view, okay? He alerts it. And if you're, if you are the Atlanta Falcons, I'm gonna pause it right here, okay? You got a receiver coming in motion. He could get the jet sweep. You got Derrick Henry, he could get the handoff. You have this tight end, he could crack. There's a lot of guys in the box right here. There's eight in the box said, hey, we're going to stop Derrick Henry. And what does the offensive coordinator call? He calls a bootleg naked. Okay, and I love it. Okay, this eye discipline from this nickel is not great. And so this tight end right here, right here is able to get outside of him and out leverage him. And it's an easy throw. He also throws this about a thousand miles an hour, an hour. There's that second pump fake that I don't know who he's pump faking right there, but <clears throat> I'll take it and he throws it perfectly leads him so he can not only catch the ball but he can turn up field and continue to run love that third and three this is what they did on third down all day long let's put nine guys up on the line of scrimmage you don't know who's blitzing you don't know who's coming okay let's see what we got here taking this one-on-one -on -one go ball down here I don't mind it okay I thought the throw was a little outside but I also thought the receiver right here why just keep running like the way he's throwing the ball, he's going to give you a chance. If I'm Will, want to leave this ball a little bit more inside. But also, if I'm this receiver, you want to stack him and give him uh, Will Levis somewhere to throw the ball. Love the concept on the other side. Ran it a lot. This is spray cut by DeAndre Hopkins. Big corner. Okay, if this corner sits down, this is where you want to go. And a little turn route. So this is free access side right here. He said, nope, I got to press go ball. I don't mind this decision at all in third and three, but maybe looking back on it, if he went up here and this flat defender goes, you just dot this right here, okay? And and honestly, he's doing what he he's doing what he probably is, coach. Because look at this safety over here. He said the safety's there. You can see him looking right at the safety. He said, "I'm going to take this go ball. It's one on one." He showed a lot of trust in his receivers for his first career start. Just missed this ball a little bit outside, I thought. And this to me is very difficult as a rookie quarterback. Okay, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys up in the line of scrimmage. You don't know where it's coming. Okay, but I thought this offensive line played really well. They're going to be in a double sort right here. Let's watch Will's eyes. Okay, looks off, knows exactly where he's going. Probably gets there a hitch too late. Okay, both tackles are getting run back in a little bit. Okay, but honestly, I thought this throw was pretty good. Just keeps going outside if he stacks them a little bit. If 16 stacks them, I think it could be an easier throw. You give the quarterback more room for error. And it's fine. This coach is like, hey, we got somebody. It's all right. We're good. We got this guy who's going to throw the ball down the field. <clears throat> play five. Oh, I love this play. Okay, watch this. Before I – I'm going to just show you right here. Okay, they're hopping the back. They're moving the back over. Okay, watch this. They're saying box. Okay, so this box covers. I want you to watch. He should be the inside corner of the box. He should be the outside lower corner, upper right corner, upper left corner to build this box. Okay, one guy messes up on defense. This guy right here. And you're going to see what the Oilers or the Titans do. <clears throat> really love it. Ends up being a touchdown right here. <clears throat> Got to love it right here. And all it is here, okay, you're going to go in on a basic. You're going to have this shallow cross. You're going to have this flat route. And you're going to have an angle route. And this Will linebacker, as soon as he's cleared out by this flat route, which I want you to see Will's eyes, he looks there. Then once this Will is out of there, 
with this flat, then DeAndre Hopkins, all he has to do is beat this Mike linebacker across his face. When he does that, it's an easy six. Love this play call. Love this play design. Love everything that are two for the young man. I love it. I love it. So look, as soon as he sees this, okay, Will's looking going to be looking right at him. This this Will linebacker should get cleared out with this flat route. This is the guy you're going to put in peril right there. And all of a sudden, he does not play the lower left corner of the box covers like we were talking about. And watch DeAndre Hopkins. And honestly, this is not a great throw. In fact, it's uh, it's a poor throw in my opinion. Okay, but he still gets credit because most receivers would fall down trying to catch that. He doesn't. He just continues rolling through it. Love the start, man, for this guy. Build a lot of confidence. Two-minute drive, up 14-3. Play action. Thought they took a lot of play action shots right here on this game. Really liked it. What do you know? Another one. And this is one probably once back. Look, he put it on him. At the end of the day, if he leads them, it's a huge play. And I love this play call. You're in a slot formation, scream shot play. It's a through route. Okay, he's in alert. It's a double post. And usually you're going to run this tight end on a over route or a deep cross route, middle cross route. But now they're doing it in a fullback position and insert like you're blocking lead and then doing it over here. I thought this was one of the coolest plays I've seen all day. Okay, I want you to watch this guy. He's the one who's going to end up dropping the ball. But if Will gets it to him a little bit better, and I'll show you from the back view, I think it's a huge play, and he probably has over 300 yards passing on the day. Okay, so their favorite play is just lead where – this uh, tight end is going to be on this Mike linebacker, right? They've run it a couple times in the game. They set this up perfectly. Watch this Mike linebacker. He said, hey, try to take on this guy. And the guy slides over to a deep cross route. I love it. Really, really good play call right there. Boop. Nope. And the Mike's like, oh, man. Not a great throw. It's an okay throw. But still would have loved for him to get it out. I know 85 can catch that. It's not that bad of a ball. But if you lead him, it just makes it a lot easier. And you waste a really, really cool play design. Okay, third and seven, 44 seconds, clock running. See what we got here. Just taking a shot, taking a shot. Okay, that's all we're doing right here. And it's a little Y option route with a deep cross coming. All right, look, I know this right here is being coached. This is an alert and an only alert. Okay, the read is the out route as one, this deep cross or middle cross is two, and this dagger route as three. So he has the ability, he said, hey, we've been throwing the ball pretty well, so let's take a shot outside, okay? I don't really love that. I just want him to go here to here, especially, I say that because it's a five-man rush, okay? He's going to learn, Will Levis is going to learn, in the National Football League, when they're rushing five, the middle of the field, the middle of the field is wide open. You have outside leverage, which is the wrong leverage in my opinion. If you know if it's five-man pressure, you should be inside leverage. But he goes outside. Okay, this guy's going to end up being wide open. Just sort of a long, deep incompletion here. I like the, uh, I like going for the throat a little bit, and you've had some success doing it. But at the end of the day, the tight end's open, and this deep cross is open. Okay, he'll learn from it. Still thought he played a really good game, but we're going to be a little bit critical here on on misreads. I know it's his first game, but I thought he played really, really well. All this, right? That's what we're saying on third down. They're going to try to confuse the young cat. Okay, only blitzing five right here. I want you to see here. Great route. This guy's going to end up being wide open. Look at all this space. And he probably predetermined this. And then when he went inside, it was like, ah, I don't love it. Okay, and you got the free safety over there. He would have liked that one back, I'm sure. It's all right, though. Okay, first and 10, third quarter. See what we got here. Okay, looking like heavy play action. This is sort of tight formation. Everyone's in tight. Single high coverage. And to me, great play. Like throwing the ball away, this is a plus-plus play, especially from a rookie quarterback. You love the heads-up nature. Look, you're trying to take a deep shot, and you know something's not right. Okay, and all they're running right here is a deep pylon. You're going to come into the hash and run deep to the pylon and a deep cross. And honestly, because this safety is cutting – He's going to end up launching this for a touchdown. I want you to watch this guy right here. He's going to end up launching this for a touchdown. This could have been a five-touchdown day. Look at this speed. He's launching that. I promise you for a deep touchdown. But there's a Mike linebacker that just runs through, and he ends up throwing it away, which is fine. All right, we're going to see right here. This Mike linebacker. Got to protect the A and B gaps. Center tries to come off late. 
Okay. Never like it right when there is a guy right in your face and you're trying to throw a touchdown. I know he wants this one back. He said, you know what? I know where my check down is. Derrick Henry, I can just dirt it at his feet. Move on. Next down, second and 10. Got to love it. Plus, plus play from a rookie guy right there. I love it. All right. Second. Oh my gosh, this is too sweet. All right. They set this up all game. So it's a little choice route. He can break out or break in. DeAndre Hopkins all game has been running an in route. They've run this three, three separate times. Okay. And um, man, this safety, they go in and up. Perfect play call at the perfect time. Okay. He's just slow enough to make it work. This safety's not deep enough. They should be in a half field safety. Okay. This corner's playing this cover two look. So he's do the rest. Number three, you wrote him off just like Gino. Gosh, I love this play call. Being aggressive, and I love being aggressive and empty, especially watch this when they're dropping eight. And really, this guy doesn't even end up rushing. They're rushing two. When you can see the safety that you're going to end up pump faking on this out and this in and up, okay, you know it's going to be good. And this guy sells it with this pump fake. It's a, it's a little bit much for me right there. Yeah, but ends up. And man, when they're even, you are leaving, and he just throws another moonshot right here. You love to see it. Leads them, puts right on them. Look, it seems easy because he's so open, but you'd be surprised how many people miss those. DeAndre Hopkins says, "Nope, oh, I'm number three, baby. Let's go. All right, last play right here, second 11. Love this play call. Just going to go ahead and show it to you, okay? It's an over route. It's a corner post, and I want you to watch his angle coming out. Heavy play action. They're going to pin here. He's going to show like he's going, and they end up throwing this. And this, to me, was probably his best throw of the day. Okay, and I'll explain why it was the best throw of the day. Because look at the angle that this corner post, okay, is taking. He's taking this angle. Will Levis said, no, man, I want you to go right here. He throws him open for a touchdown. Watch this. And the guy just runs and gets it. You know how difficult of a throw that is? when? Oh, no. Oh, no. Three black guys right there. Man, you'd love to see it. Black jerseys. And then just love the way Will Levis play, right? Like, the dude's a rookie. He didn't play like a rookie. It's going to be a little bit tougher test next week against New Orleans. But 